Hello, in this video I will explain how to solve the immersed kinematic problem of zero robot manipulators using CMake plugin in Copilessin. This video is indeed a continuation of a previous video in which I explained how to solve this problem from scene objects. In this video, I will explain how to manually create all required elements to solve this inverse kinematic problem. This will give us more possibilities to control the kind of solutions we obtained before and actually how we can apply them. The aims of the presentation are on the one hand to continue learning how to use this Copilla CMYK plugin. I will remark again the difference between this scene objects and plugin objects. We will see how to use forward kinematics to compute the position of an orientation of a robot tip and how to prepare all the necessary uh, elements to the uh, IK environment that the, the plugin needs in order to be able to compute the image kinematics. Finally, we will see how to compute trajectories to move from the current configuration to a desired final pose. We're going to distinguish between scene objects and objects belonging to the IK plugin's environment. So the first thing we need to do is to create an IK environment. Then we will create a set of elements, the vase, the end effector or tip, and the target dummies. Also, we need to create IK joints. All these objects are created inside the IK environment. The key concept here is that we can do this without duplicating objects that we have uh, in Copilla Sim scene. In fact, here we only need, the only scene objects we need actually are the links and the joints that actually confront the robot. We have created uh, a target, uh, here in the figure on the, on, the, on the right you see that there's a scene object uh, named target, but this is for convenience so we can visualize the pose to which the robot must converge. The base dummy at the EK environment will be positioned for convenience at the position 0, 0, 0 and the tip dummy will be positioned using the forward kinematics. We will set the position of the all EK joints considering actually the same position of the scene object so we will take or we will ask Copelesim about these positions and orientations and create the EK joints properly in the EK environment. Well, the DH function I have included here allows to obtain the homogeneous transformation matrix using the navit hartenberg parameters. This is something that we already saw in a previous video related with the forward kinematics, remember. Here I have just added a function that allows us to obtain the transformation matrix of the end effector by just post multiplying all the navit hartenberg parameters by calling the DH function. We will use this matrix, which is the AN matrix, to position and uh, to set the position and orientation of the tip of the dummy. A0, it's uh, for convenience, uh, it's just simply an identity matrix representing the position and orientation of the robot base. Actually, we start now preparing all the elements to solve the inverse kinematics. We start by creating the AK environment and the three AK dummies, the base, the tip, and the target. We will position the base and the tip according to the transformations A0 and AN as, we are, as, as I have already mentioned and in addition to this we need to establish a link between the tip and the target so that the plugin can identify which elements are the tip and the target um, are how, and they must be somehow related and in this case we use the CMYK settling dummy function. Well, later we will create a set of joints uh, inside the AK environment. In the code I'm sh um, showing here, uh, this code allows us to create and configure the joints from actual robot joints in the scene. So the joints variable is a table with uh, the scene joints handles, while the IK joints uh, variable is the corresponding table related with the IK, uh, IK joint handles. As you can see, uh, I have created IK joints considering the type of joint, revolute, revolute or prismatic, and also considering the limits, its position and orientation and so on. 
Once we have created all necessary elements, we can establish a hierarchy relationship between them. The base dummy is the parent of all AK elements, and then we can add joints. Each one is child of the previous one. And to complete the hierarchy, the tip must be the child of the last joint. In addition to this, we must create an AK group, as we saw in, uh, in the previous video. Uh, here, just simply, uh, I'm showing the code for the pseudo inverse uh, method, and uh, in this case, I have uh, specified a constraint or to constrain the pose. Okay, but remember that there might be different options to uh, select the calculation method algorithm and also which constraints to apply. Now, we are finally in a position to solve the inverse kinematic problem. So, in the code I'm showing here, I, the first part of the code actually, I manually set a target position and orientation. Actually, what I'm setting is the position and orientation of the scene target uh, uh, object, which is this uh, Coppelia scene scene object. But I do the same or the corresponding thing for the AK target object, which is the, the same object but in the IK uh, environment. Then, the CMAK get config for tpose function allows to solve the inverse kinematic problem. This function returns, in case of finding a solution, a list with values, with the values of uh, the joints. One of the most important parameters to tune is the accuracy of the solution uh, to be found. Internally, the plugin tries multiple configurations until it finds one that satisfies the impose uh, constraints. In, uh, in the code, I have set this parameter to 0.1. Uh, it should be interpreted as meters, but actually it considers not only meters for position, but it's a mixture between meters and uh, orientation. So, this is an advanced feature that I, I, I prefer not to mention. Okay. So, you can also set uh, the maximum calculation time, um, returning the best, or the, the best solution found, found so far if uh, the time is due. In the code, I have set this time to 0 0.5 seconds. As you know, the solution of the inverse kinematic is not unique, and in fact, here I'm showing three different examples in which the robot is able to reach the exactly the same pose. All of them are correct, and they were returned by the previous function. And the reason is, as I, as I mentioned before, uh, we uh, try to find a solution and the plugin internally tries to find multiple solutions until it decides that has found uh, uh, a correct one. But this is some kind of random procedure. Uh, so, in this redundant robot, we were able to find multiple solutions to solve the same problem. The plugin also allows to generate trajectories from the current position to the target dummy. In this case, we must use the CMIK generate path function, which requires to specify the AK environment, the AK group, the list with all the AK joints, and also the robot tip. We must also indicate in the last argument the number of trajectory points we want, in this case 100. The returned value is a table with all joint values along the path. We can just simply reorganize this information in a matrix form using the matrix library. And once the trajectory is computed, then we can apply it to each, or we can apply each of the trajectory points to, uh, the, uh, to, the, to, to the scene joints. And we can do this, for instance, inside the syscall actuation function by just calling the sim uh, set joint position until all point trajectories have been uh, uh, applied. In this video, we will see how this trajectory generator works. As you can see, there is a smooth trans transition between the original, the initial position, and the final pos configuration or position that we uh, required. Well, let's see it again. Here it is. Okay. Well, in this presentation, I have explained how to solve the inverse kinematics of serial robot manipulators using the CMIK plugin in Copilesim. Thank you very much.